but um, I am stepping back from doing. Uh, so what what shifted? What changed? Um, over the past few months, I've gotten I've become really unhappy uh, and regretting certain decisions that I've made. Yeah. Like regretting just like making that kind of content, or like just. Um, there's like there's so many different factors. The first one is my parents. My parents, it took a while for them to be proud of me. They're proud of me now that I'm 24 and I'm financially stable. Yeah. Um, but they, they, I don't think they like what I do. Of course they don't like what you do because yeah, you made a little bit of money, but you humiliated them. Anybody who's being humiliated is gonna resent the source of their humiliation to some degree. Now your dad is gonna spend his entire life feeling like he failed as a father because you decided to make a selfish decision. I'd be upset too. Nah, it's just I think it's a bit mad why you'd wanna be with a girl that cheats. Sound delusional. Nah, my girl don't cheat. You think, your girl, you, you think if I hit your girl right now, she would- Oh, uh, no, I, oh yeah, DM her, yeah. Be realistic. You won't get nothing. Be realistic. I'm being realistic, bro. Right. Do you wanna send realistic. a DM now? Do you wanna just- Yeah, what's your girl's Insta? Oh, what's your girl's Insta? I DM her right now, just to prove oh, you wrong. Oh, sorry, .x. Bro, if you ain't getting nothing. This is a good we're way do, We're doing the test. This <laughs> is a good way to do the test. Yeah, mom's life, What's her Instagram? Elsa Ray .x. What's her Huh? Elsa Ray. Spell it. E-L-S-A-R-A-E dot X. You can DM her right now. Right. You don't get nothing, bro. Look, she already pop up right here. Yeah. I ain't even have to. Does she follow you? No. Of course nah. not. Of course not. Nah, nah, nah. you, know, you know he wouldn't let his girl follow me. <laughs> I'm witnessing the slide. Bro, my girl's... The slide. Let's not, no, call, no, you, right, let's not call her you later think, either. You think, your girl's, you think your girl's linger than mine? Be honest. 100%. <laughs> He's now scrolling through her pictures. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Bro. Send the DM, we gotta have a chat. You send the DM. I'm gonna chat her up. Okay. <laughs> Man, how would you see what he goes like? I'm gonna send her a blue heart. Uh, <laughs> if she responds, she you got, okay, respond. you gotta let us know on the socials later if she, she responds. Respond. Nah. Let's talk about this, because you. <laughs> so he's now, he's now slid into your girl's. Nah, that is funny. That's funny. Um, is that her calling? Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> That was quick. That was quick, that was quick. Man, look. Wow, the guy's got game. Watch yourself, Annie, before I take your look at oh. <laughs> I'm sure she was just calling him so they could discuss our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That was probably the most charitable thing Blueface has done all year. Because at least you know, it was never your girl, it was just your turn. Kick her to the curb. Eject Cedo, I'm fat because I drink too much red wine and I don't exercise enough. That's not true. That's absolutely not true. I How do you know my red wine that? consumption? Well, I mean, <laughs> you're absolutely right. How much red wine you choose to drink is really up to you. But you are not fit. You're not fat because of what you eat and how much exercise you do. That is the line that everybody is led to believe. But there is doctor. A... If I if I left you now and ran up yeah. and down Leicester Square for three hours and then went home and had a piece of lettuce and then came in and did the same tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that, I would start to look like a supermodel. Uh, you, only for a few months, and then you would stop. In fact, you would start regaining weight within the first year. Even if you only ate lettuce and ran around Leicester Square for three hours, that is a fact. That's not fiction, that is a absolute fact. Even if you took that skinny so, jab that's out on the market now, you'd still end Ozempic. up gaining weight. I think it's called Ozempic, isn't Ozempic. it? Ozempic, you would end up gaining the weight. That is how the body works. The body will always return you to your natural set point weight. Doctor, my ass, if you get on the scale and it looks like the US debt counter, I'm not taking medical advice from you. A lot of this fat activism is pushed by mega corporations because they want you to give up hope so you keep going to McDonald's. Her degree must have been free with a Happy Meal. If this is what we call medical professionals, I'd rather take medical advice from Dr. Dre. I am interested in all psychology, all neuroscience, and this is the, I think, the most interesting finding of the last decade in all of science. And this is the insight that your muscles are basically an endocrine organ that secrete hormones into your bloodstream that affect every system of your body. And one of the first papers, you know, almost 10 years ago, that was published explaining that when you contract your muscles, they literally secrete these, these proteins into your bloodstream that make you resilient to stress and can protect you from depression. The scientists called them hope molecules. This idea that literally your muscles are manufacturing like antidepressant molecules. And the only way to get them into your bloodstream where they, they can then travel to your brain is you have to contract your muscles. Like, that's it. You are going to be dumping hope molecules into mm. your bloodstream that when they get to your brain, they, they work as an antidepressant and they also help people recover from trauma. That's like a miracle.
This is your daily reminder to get your ass in the gym. We will not be contributing to the pussification of humanity. It's time to turn that dad bod into a father figure. A study from March 3rd, 2013 showed something that we already knew. Working out is 1.5 times more likely to cure your depression than antidepressants. That's a secret Big Pharma don't want you to know. They want you to feel hopeless so they can keep slanging antidepressants. Put up a middle finger to Big Pharma and take your power back. Make sure you get to the gym today. You owe it to yourself. So the challenge is, can you get a guy's number? Yeah. yeah. Who wants to try it? Whoever wants to. I will. All right, what's up? Can I get your number real quick? Ah, uh, nah, I'm Why? sorry about it. She didn't want it anyway. Next. Damn. Hey, she asked for it, though. Ah! Oh! It was for a challenge, though, nigga. Don't get too All right, what's your what, biggest What about you, Bruce? You like girls with... No one cares. With what? No, Effie, don't do that. I mean, I find them attractive. Yeah. Wouldn't be able to have a conversation. No. Why you say they've got nothing in? Effie, you do not. No, no substance. <laughs> it's not that. It's just my personality doesn't work. It's, like I said, the way that they want to communicate with me is too much for me to deal with. I would have to be a completely different person. Match up with that guy. Yeah. Talk and cheese, yeah. Sometimes they match up. Though. Which one would you match? She's what I've seen I her. will knock you the fuck out. That's the dumbest stuff I've ever said. What did, he, what did he say? I don't know what he that said. She's thinner. I didn't oh, say oh, wait, wait, you can't say that on the party. Dumb. I'm the wrong fucking person. I didn't say you. Oh, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> I personally think he said that the nicest way possible. And if he doesn't know you, of course he's gonna pick by appearance. What is he supposed to do, pick by credit score? My girlfriend dressed up as a policewoman and told me I was under arrest on suspicion of being good in bed. After two, <laughs> after two minutes, all charges were dropped due to lack of evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Many women are just using these dates to get a free meal or to kill some time. Women going on dates to simply get Free meal. One third of women in a new survey admitted to going out on a date just for a free meal. They were hungry. No romantic interest. They could care, couldn't care less. They just want a free meal. These are the same people that say men should protect women. How are you supposed to protect women when they're willing to meet up with a complete stranger that they're not even interested in just so they can get some free Applebee's french fries? The average American woman is 5'3", 175 pounds. We don't need any more women getting free meals. I love Mark. Yeah, so loyal to his wife, by the way. Hard to do when you're a man with that kind of power and money. But He's so loyal to his wife. But this is the thing, Barbara. You're a woman with power and money. Is it hard for you to be loyal to your husband? Not at all, but I can't get a young guy. If I could, I wouldn't be loyal. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different game you play as a woman versus a man. If I was a man, I'd have young chicks all around me, yeah. To be honest, I respect her honesty. There's a lot of dudes that try to virtue signal and act like they would never cheat. And let's just be honest, most of the time it's because they don't have the option to. Imagine having eight nines and tens throw themselves at you every day and you choose not to indulge because you know how it's going to affect your family. Now that takes virtue. Till next time.